I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm getting Botox. <laughs> This might be one of the last times you see me <laughs> like this. <laughs> to make a very long explanation, somewhat brief, I've known for the longest, longest time, as soon as I am able and as soon as I am of age, I've wanted to get Botox for a whole number of reasons. One of the main being that I am an extremely expressive person. Also, I didn't even explain that I just got back from a workout. That's why I look like this. Everything I say, every time I'm talking to someone, I am so reactive and not, I suppose, commonly or stereotypically, but kind of to the next level. To clarify, I am not saying that expression is bad. I'm saying that my level and my amount of expression has always caused me really horrible headaches. Expression is fabulous. Over the years, this expressiveness has not only given me a lot of self-consciousness, it's also created a lot of bad headaches. Right above both of my eyebrows kind of going in this diagonal is really where I get the most pain and also where I'm constantly showing my expression. Even when I'm not even trying to, my eyebrows are on full command. Here, a little bit on my temple and also kind of in the jawline. And I know these aren't caffeine related. I know it's not lack of dehydration. Skirt, I said that wrong. I meant to say I am not dehydrated. I know that, you know that. If anything, it's too much hydration, let's be honest. If I film a video and I'm sitting in front of the camera, afterwards my head is just throbbing. Not to mention my career, YouTube, podcast, Instagram, or even just socializing in general involves a lot of talking. Every single time I'm done filming, every single time I'm done with my podcast, I have a pounding migraine and I'm just sort of done with it at this point. And if it's constantly interfering with what I do every single day, I might as well look into it. Of course, there are so many different other ways that you can treat really, really bad headaches and migraines. Now I'm being blessed with this beautiful opportunity. And you know what? Carpe diem, I'm seizing the day and we're gonna do it. <laughs> also, there's plenty of people who get Botox with no medical purpose. So I don't feel like I necessarily have to completely explain all that, but it is helpful context. And it's not something I talk about often because who wants to hear people constantly complain about their headaches, their migraines, etc. but you get the point. I am not getting paid to talk about this. I just wanna show you my experience because I always said if I would ever do any sort of plastic surgery, Botox, filler, whatever, I would want to be able to document my experience because I am so open and transparent about so much in my life. I would feel like a fool and a failure if I didn't tell you aesthetic things that I've changed to myself as well. So, here we go. Wish me luck. Remember this face. Not to sound too weird, but I do really like a lot of the wrinkles on my face. Because I am an expressive person, it shows my happiness, I guess, and I don't want that to go away. I also wanna make sure that I'm still able to move left and right. Good morning, it's the day before the injections, and of course, what happens? I wake up with a massive headache, and I was really trying to think about it where it feels most pinpointed, also a massive pimple. It's really centered in all along here beneath my eyebrows going up, right around here, these kind of diagonals. And then you can even see right here, this is where I'm often most stressing my eyebrows. It's very, very hard for me to relax that. And then a lot right here and over here and my temple. So the whole face, don't think that will probably happen. I highly doubt I would get something everywhere. I'm feeling a little bit anxious about it, but kind of just excited, happy nerves, and almost that it's so surreal that it's actually happening. I actually get to go and do this. Maybe I'm like 48 hours away from being pain-free. Could you imagine? I'd cry, I'd cry. Hi everyone, we 
have Reese in the car. All three of us are on our way to Portland. That's actually where I'm getting the Botox done. I don't even think I mentioned this yet, but Keith's sister is actually the one that's going to be administering it to me, which is extremely cool and also neat that I can trust her and I feel very trusting that I know who's actually going to be putting needles in my face. Today's the day I'm kind of freaking out right now. I'm not exactly nervous. I think I'm just a little bit unsure. I don't really know what to expect. I do know that they are insulin needles, so they are microscopic. I mean, comparatively to, let's say, like a vaccine needle. So I don't think I'll get like too weird, too queasy or anything, but it does just sort of freak me out thinking about needles going into my face. I, of course, woke up with so much pain and tension right here and here and here and here. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just kind of ready for it. Like, you know when you get that idea in your head of wanting to do something, you finally do it. Now it's all you can think about. That's your girl right now. But I really do feel like I'm in really good hands. They have multiple locations in Oregon, where I am now. Well-known, reputable, I feel safe, like I said. Now I just have to look like I'm not absolutely exhausted and I didn't just get five hours of sleep. Ooh. Once I actually got to the appointment, I was totally fine, but I had those pre-appointment jitters. The office was so warm and lovely, no pun intended. We took a few pictures of me beforehand, and then my provider walked me through some of the treatments that I was interested in today. The actual appointment was very, very seamless, and I was totally nervous for absolutely no reason. In about two weeks, we'll follow up with you and kind of see things, how things are going. Yeah. And then at your follow-up appointment, we kind of, since this is your first time receiving treatment we would kind of assess whether you need a little bit more whether it can stay the same she indicated on my forehead and my temples where the botox was going to be injected if you remember i also said i was interested in getting botox on my jawline because i felt a lot of tension whenever i was talking <laughs> keith come on <laughs> However, the providers essentially decided that I would not be a good candidate for this because I actually didn't have as much tension on my jaw as I thought. They're not strong, right? I was just gonna say, it doesn't so feel that strong. Sometimes when they clench uh -huh. and they get headaches and you don't feel it in the masseter, uh -huh. it's likely it's in the zygomatic. That's where it feels most. Here, um, in the front, right? Okay. I would probably hold off on okay. that. Maybe not a good candidate because you don't want to worsen that zygomatic. But I appreciate you not just because I'm not a good candidate, they didn't want to mess up my smile, they didn't want to mess with my face, and I honestly appreciate that. The actual injections themselves were not that bad. They applied ice, tapped the area, and honestly, it just really felt like you were breaking a mechanical pencil against your skin. It doesn't hurt, it's more just like, whoa. I'm just gonna put some Arnica cream, and this just kind of helps with minimizing swelling, inflammation. It's totally normal to have some bruising after. For how quick the actual injections took, knowing how beneficial it would be for me and my headaches, I was relieved. It looks pretty darn normal. She did such a good job and it really didn't hurt that bad. And I'm such a little wimp with needles, so I'm pretty impressed. It's the first day afterwards. It's about 10 or 11 in the morning right now. So pretty much I'm at exactly 24 hours post, I was gonna say op, but I guess post injections. I don't think I'm really gonna see many changes until probably day four or five, but I just wanted to track how I'm feeling, the way I'm looking, my movement. I feel totally fine. I had a very minor headache afterwards, but it was similar headaches to what I've felt before. And I was also working on my computer for a few hours after the injection. So it could have been blue light plus needles going into your forehead, you know, just the common mix up. Uh, <laughs> But other than that, feel totally fine. Don't feel nauseous, don't feel weird. But either way, I could almost cry. <laughs> like I was so stinking happy. God, should I even record right now? My gut is telling me no, but I think I'm gonna do it anyways. Hi, I literally have pimple cream on. Nice. But today is day five, which means that it is the first day that there was any kind of inclination that we're starting to see a difference in treatment, AKA the treatment starting to really kick in. And I think she said by two weeks is when you'll really see everything full force. But today's the first day that I was like, 
Whoa, whoa. This is me trying to raise my flipping forehead. All right, right now it's a little bit uneven, at least that I'm seeing in the mirror. I've always had uneven features because I sleep on my right side of my face. So that would be something that I would tell her on my two week checkup. It is very natural for your face to have asymmetry, but this is wild. I mean, y'all, you saw me before. I was lines across the top, across, like 16 of them. Remember this face. Then we're gonna reveal the pimple cream. But holy flippin' cow, holy cow, look at me. Look at this, who is she? What's happening? I don't remember the last time I've had a headache and I can't even remember the last time I've said that statement. I flabbergasted, literally flabbergasted and it's been a week. Yesterday was a week, ah, eight days. Hi, I'm actually on my way to my checkup appointment right now. It's been, I think, three weeks now, and I just had to make the appointment a little a little bit later because of my own timeline, but I'm going in just to get this part fixed. Hopefully it'll just be really quick and easy, but still, just because I know it's there, I notice it a lot more. The follow-up was super easy. They touched up the right to match the left, and then we actually ended up putting, I believe, one unit of Botox in my chin because we thought it might be a good idea to see if it actually helps some of the tension in this frontal area. Ultimately, this video is not meant to inspire. I'm just trying to show you my journey and just to be transparent with you all because I know that something like this would have been extraordinarily helpful for somebody like me. I know I've already said this like 90 times, but I cannot express to you how much it has relieved so much stinking tension with my headaches, with my pain, even just my mood I think has been improved because I'm not irritated by my tension and my headaches. Obviously, I know it's great that there is a little bit of an aesthetic benefit, but for me, it just has been so beyond helpful. And I'm really, really lucky that I went to a place that took good care of me. I highly recommend if this is something that you actually are interested in doing, if you have similar pain that I do, or for whatever purpose, do whatever works for you, no judgment. Do your research, find some place that's going to take really good care of you, some place that's not just trying to get your money from you and telling you to do every procedure under the sun. And ultimately, it's not a necessity whatsoever but for me it's been so beyond helpful for my lifestyle and that is all I could ever ask for that is absolutely fantastic and I'm just I'm feeling really grateful and like I said I just wanted to be able to share this with you all also you see my face all the time like you probably you'd start to notice honestly at the end of the day if I've learned anything from this experience it's that I need to do whatever makes me happy and you should absolutely do the same life is too stinking short to be listening to what other people want us to do what other people say do what's best for you I love you all so much thank you for listening thank you for hearing me out thank you for being with me love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one